Okay, well, welcome to the last episode of Worm Week 2020. And in this video, I'm going to be trying to set up my own worm farm, trying my hand at a bit of vermiculture. What is vermiculture? Well, it's worm composting, basically. You put a load of worms into a container with some soil and then keep adding suitable kitchen waste to it. And over time, they produce vermicompost that's remarkably rich in nutrients and good for plants. This here is the Herbalive worm farm. We got it from a company here in the UK called Wiggly Wigglers. And it's perfect for the sort of house where I live, uh, just like, you know, in, in a city. It uh, can be used indoors, it doesn't smell or anything. Uh, it's really nicely designed. And yeah, it comes with this uh, bag of live worms. There's two species it says in here. There's uh... My cat wants to get in. One second. Thank you, Elsa. You want to see the worms? Yes, uh, as I was saying, two species in here. There's the red wigglers or tiger worms and European night crawlers. And they're both very well suited for like living in leaf litter. They're not really deep burrowers like other kinds of earthworms. And so they're really good for composting. It's a common species used in vermiculture. So I'm just going to set this up and we'll see what this looks like. Yes, yeah, so Elsa's going to be helping us set this up, aren't you? Yes, you are. Okay. Um, Anyway, so over here. So I've already got this uh, bucket of the compost stuff that came in the kit. Um, said that you should like set that up first, let it, it came in like a big solid brick. Had to let that soak up all the water so that is ready to go. And here is the box. Here's the live worms. I want to be careful with those, don't I? Not the worms, just place them down gently. There we go. Uh, so there's the legs in here, let's go on the bottom, there's the waterproof mat that goes at the top. Um, yeah, core, core blocks, that's what the compost is. Uh, and here it is, so yes, comes with lime mix and worm treats as well, that's what's in these bags. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put this camera down and just get on with it basically. This kit comes with a three-level composter and everything a beginner like me needs to start their own wormery. Right, so just before I add in the uh, the compost there, I just wanted to show you the structure of this because it's actually pretty interesting. Uh, so this is like the, the working bin kind of area. So this is where the compost is going to go. Uh, and then all the worms, of course, and the like, kitchen waste stuff. Underneath it is this kind of a drainage bin. So you have this here, which uh, stops any worms from going through, it allows the, the liquid, the vermicompost, uh, worm tea as it's called, I really like that name. That's essentially what we'll be making from this. Uh, so that can all drain through and then underneath, go into, into that, which leads to this tap under there. Um, and then also if any worms fall through the working bin, uh, they don't go too far, it just goes here and they can climb back up through these holes. This goes on for the compost, worms, kitchen waste, and then you have a waterproof mat on top, it keeps it nice and dark. Yeah, so I'm gonna add in the compost and then the worms now. Let us do that. That's probably okay. Now for the best part, the worms. So, oh, I don't want to cut any worms. Make sure they're all down at the bottom. No, what? There's a worm right there. I didn't cut it, it's all right. How did you get there? <laughs> That's outside the seal, there's just this worm. Oh, I'll put you in first. There you go. Go on. There we go, got him. Well, that was uh, interesting. Okay, let's carry on. Whew. Worm rescue, wasn't expecting that. Yeah, let's go, worms. Whoa.
Now those are some worms. Okay, so it said not really to like mess with them too much. Kind of just leave them in a pile. Uh, they'll kind of find their own way. Shake it a little bit, just spread it out a bit. Yeah, that should be fine. Let's show you what they're like. Look at those worms. They are much bigger than the, the one that was stuck. Yeah, so now they're gonna, they don't like the light, so they should just start kind of burrowing down, uh, escaping. So we leave the lid off for a bit. Look at that, look at them burrow. Worms are amazing. Um, yeah, and then I'll put some food waste over. I will put the moisture mat on top, and then um, I'll do another update in a week, basically. Show you uh, how the worms are doing. Yeah, I'm really excited. Make some uh, vermi compost and uh, do some vermi culture. Uh, I'd recommend, like, anyone can really do this. It doesn't take a lot of effort. Just set it up. Uh, if you're in the UK, Wiggly Wigglers, a really good website to get some from. Uh, you can get, like, a lot of pretty cheap ones I found if you're in America um, on Amazon things like that. You don't even have to have like the whole kit uh, sent to you. You can just like get what you need by itself. You can just like order uh, worms for composting. You can get the compost yourself, just make something like this, the drainage system. Yeah, I just wanted to do this because I'm a bit of a beginner. I don't know what I'm doing necessarily, uh, but it's not too difficult to learn. And I'm really looking forward to caring for my worms. Hopefully we'll get a nice, uh, some nice breeding going on and making some good compost for the garden out there. Yeah, uh, now Doug is going to call in over Discord and I'm going to show him my worms because he couldn't be here today because of you know why. I'll do the old. Right, okay, so right, yeah, yeah everything's on. Okay. Alright, Doug's here now. He's on hey, my Dan. phone. I'm in your kitchen. <laughs> there he is. And he's gonna react to my worms. What do you think of these worms, Doug? Where? Can you see it? Oh, there's one. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. just. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Is it black or covered in mud? Oh, uh, it's covered in mud. It has like kind of uh, red stripes. Well, it's red with like white stripes. How do you feed them? Uh, with kitchen waste mostly, and then there's like some special worm feed over there. I'll do like an update next week to see where they've gone. So I might might call you again, so you can react Definitely. Hang to on. the progress. Wait, where, where are you in relation to where I'm going to be? What, how long do the worms live, Ben? Uh, they. It says they can live for like two years, but I guess it depends. So. You, you're going to name them. Is there any recognisable? Can you name them? Um, one of them did get stuck in like a weird area of the bag and I spent about five minutes trying to get it unstuck. It was a really small one, so if I ever see that one again, I'll call him William, the worm. Why William? Because it rhyme, it, it alliterates with worm. Oh right, it's not, yeah. I thought there was going to be a name about him being stuck. No. Yeah. Okay. No that like creative. Stuck the worm? Stuck the worm, that can be it, okay. Or William stuck, or stuck William, no. Stuck with William the worm. stuck what? worm. What could a worm? <laughs> that you what just about can't see. Elsa? She's not going to eat them, is she? No, she was in the video actually. She came to help me set it up. But she hasn't oh. tried to eat them yet. You're looking forward to seeing what they're like in a week's time then? Oh, yeah, well. oh definitely. I, I expect them to at least be 60 feet long. Yeah, we can hope so. I want, to, I want, to, I want them to be on the news. World's biggest <laughs> worm found by two internet celebrities. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm gonna put some food in now and I'll leave them to be worms. So... Uh, Good luck, Ben. See ya. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> the worms will compost a variety of things, including vegetable and most fruit peelings, but there are also a lot of things that can harm them and shouldn't be added. So if you plan to make your own worm farm, then be sure to check what is and isn't suitable to feed them. Okay, well, it's now been a week since I set up the worm farm. It's just been here in the kitchen running along nicely. So let's take a look and see how the worms are doing. 
I fed them a few times throughout the week, not too much. It said not to put too much in like at first. And we've had a few issues with some worms escaping overnight uh, because when it gets dark in here, obviously they, they uh, go exploring. And so on the first night we had it, there was a, a worm on the kitchen floor, which was quite fun. Uh, so to solve that, we've got some cheap lights here, which we keep on overnight. Uh, and I don't think they've escaped since that's been there, but there's not really any way to tell for certain. Could be worms hiding somewhere in the kitchen. But uh, yeah, let's, let's take a look and see how they're doing. Sometimes they kind of hide on the lid. Doesn't look like there's uh, too many there. It is quite bright in here actually, so yeah, you can't, you can see there's, there, <laughs> there have been a lot more when I've opened the lid before. Yeah, there they all are. <laughs> a lot down there, as you can see. So you've been feeding them potato peelings, uh, sort of egg cartons, bananas, as you can see. Uh, egg shells, they like that, apparently. Not actual eggs, but the, uh, the crunchiness of the egg shells helps them to digest things, apparently. There's bits of cardboard, yeah. Don't want to disturb them too much, but they seem to be doing pretty well. So yeah, there's my worms. Uh, so yeah, now I'm gonna get Doug to call in again and he's gonna have a look at my worm farm. I'm here. All right. What's up? Doug's here now, he's calling in over Discord. There he is. Don't know if you can see that. But he's gonna be uh, yeah. reacting to my worm progress. Yeah, so here it is. You can see it's uh, kind of a lot messier now. It's all the worm droppings. Oh my god. So there's, it looks like there's a couple of dead worms at the top. I don't know how they've oh. died, but uh, it is part of, you know, the process of the wormery. The worms do die eventually. And they become a part of it. Yeah. So underneath is where all the action is. Let me just, uh, you see that? Oh, there's so many worms. <laughs> it is a lot of worms. What do you think of my worms? Oh, they look lovely. Very small. <laughs> yeah, there are there are some chunky ones in there, but they're... I can't really see them now. Yeah. yeah. Alright, I don't want to disturb them too much. So we've, we've had some incidents... What's that thing at the top? Oh, this is a moisture mat, so it keeps it all nice and moist oh. for them. Uh, but they do, eat, they do eat through it eventually, so I'll have to replace that. But uh, yeah, we had some incidents on like the first night that we had had it. Uh, my brother came down in the morning and found a worm crawling its way across the kitchen. Um, so, <laughs> oh God. and there've been a couple of nights where I came down and there were worms outside. Right, well, I guess this is the end of worm week then. There's a... No. <laughs> so uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this fun week and uh, see you at some point. Bye. We'll see you on Wednesday. Yes. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this video and Worm Week as a whole. Also, if there are any experienced vermicomposters watching, then I'm very open to any advice you have on how to improve my worm farm, especially if you have any tips as to how to stop worms escaping overnight. The light does seem to be working for now though. Anyway, thank you so much for all the support you've shown us throughout this wonderful week of worms. We've all really enjoyed making it for you and loved seeing the worm submissions you've been sending our way. And a big thank you to our Patreon supporters too, especially our Dinosaur Tier supporters Corey Peterson, George Vojtek, Persian Boy, Mayor's World, Nicole Bueno, Pasta, Mark Fawn, Dominic Bathy, Harry Evert, and Alex Hawke. If you would like to find out more about worms, their history, and the wonderful worms that surround us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it, and if you would like to see more from us.